G'day, I'm Matt Bat. Welcome to Keep On Collecting. Today, Andrew's gonna give you a tour of his toy room, so I hope you enjoy. Thanks for the intro about Matt. And g'day everyone, and welcome back to Keep On Collecting. Actually, today, I'm gonna show you what happens when you do actually keep on collecting. Now I've been collecting for about 25 years, so I've amassed a great amount of action figures and toys. So today I'll go through it and uh, I'll film the whole room and we'll do a toy room tour. Um, anything you, you see that you might want to do, we might do a video later on, go a bit more slower, um, do an unboxing or two. Um, leave it down in the comments, put it in the comments and and we'll go through it and we'll do some other videos. Plus, I'll show you what the stuff I couldn't fit into the room, which I had to store in a, to film this in a, in a spare room. So we'll do that as well. So without further ado, let's get into it and, and have a look at this room. First, I want to show you the size of the room. I had to move house from a normal three bedroom house into a bigger house that housed a, a three car garage just to fit this collection in. Now as you, as you can see I have quite an amount of toys but the thing is there's a lot I couldn't fit in that I haven't got on display so a lot of the the collection might look incomplete but that's not true a lot of it I just couldn't put on display because either they are on card which is a mean they're in a mint in packet or you know they just couldn't fit on the shelf but we'll go through each let's start with, with some Harry Potter now these figures were done for the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix movie now I just love these in fact they have got the whole Hogswalk castle but the figures were so detailed they were just very well detailed as you can see as I zoom in and they show that they even got their the food that magically appears on the table so I just love these ones they got the Dementors and they come with a lot a lot of little accessories now they did here is their their little, their um, each had a school had their their own little uh, rooms, as you could say. So they they had their rooms. There's a they even had things like I lift up that here, get back a bit. They had their little target robot, so that'd go around, and they they'd hit it with their wands. Oh, who's this? Looks like Batman's come in to say hello to Harry Potter. He was just the right scale to actually sit in the window there. They're beautiful. So, we've got some more that I haven't taken out of their uh, packets up here. As you can see, now, the first ones they released was actually this scale here. As you look, he nearly, he nearly ran for it. As you can see, they're actually a different scale. So they were a larger scale, but they didn't do any play sets with that. So there is a bus, as you can see, the bus there. And then later on, for one of the other films, they started doing a six inch line. It's, that's about the only one I've ever got because I, they were out of scale to the others. And scale is very important when you collect. Um, you like things to be in the same scale and they can mix and match. Now we'll go further down. I've got, I'll have to zoom out for these because they're a bit close. No, nope, I'll have to stop that. Here we have uh, Buck Rogers. Now the, this is for the Buck Rogers film from the 70s. And um, the, here's the uh, toys. To start with, the, we've got the uh, Draconian Marauder there. I think that he was called Tiger Man. And move along, it's in the cabinet as you can see. 
We've got the Starfighter. Now he's Buck Rogers himself. And uh, the girl, and I've got the name. Uh, I do remember Twiggy. Twiggy was his little robot. There you go. We'll move down. I've got one in the packet there. And who is he? He's a draconian guard. We also had a, a toy at the back called a laser scope fighter. That was uh, repurposed uh, from uh, to Buck Rogers. It also came out as, oh, what was it? I think it was the Black Hole they did it. So they would re actually repurpose toys uh, depending on the film. Now we've got Buck Rogers. Oh, move up out of there. And that, that is his Land Rover that was actually in the film. Now we go across, we get something totally different. Bear with me, it's going to jump all the way around. So we have Skeleton Warriors. Now, uh, Matt has just started to collect some Skeleton Warriors. Here's his mine. These came out in the 90s. These were just awesome. Came with a lot of different figures. They're all like skeletons. There was a cartoon that was with it to complement it. You can see the bike. We'll move on. Now we've got some Bionic Man. Now I've got the Bionic Man transporter that actually sits in and gets sits in and gets repaired. Bionic Man with lifting his engine block. And because we're gonna have the Bionic Woman, she's having a rest down there. And then I've got a thermos. Moving across. Last action hero. Now people banned this uh, not banned it, but panned this film. I thought it was awesome. It was great. I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. Anyway, I got his car at the back there. And some figures on card. And if I move down, we're still into the 90s here. And that's the Terminator 2 film. Now, all these ones are on card. So I've got them, except for that loose one at the front. But I've got them actually stacked deep in there. So, more purpose just sort of stored out of the way. Now, here's Stargate. Now, with Stargate, I actually, we, uh, Matt and I, we went and met Richard Dean Anderson that played Colonel O'Neill. And as you can see, one of them, actually, which one's the signed one? I got him to sign it. Uh, get that out. There we go. Richard Dean, whoop, there's the angle. Richard Dean Anderson as Jack. But actually, as he noticed, as you can see on there, that's actually Kirk Russell. Now, Kirk Russell did the, these are for the film, Stargate film. And he noticed that, he goes, it's Kirk Russell. <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, I know. And, uh, but he, he laughed, he said, I am Jack. <laughs> so, that is lovely. So I'll put that, oh, I'll put that in back there later. And we'll go back out. And we'll move on. Now, what do we got up here? Now, I might have to stop that again. Okay, here we have the Aliens action figures from the early 90s. These came out for the film. We've got Queen Hive there. We've got Power Loader. Also got some from Reaction, they're the newer ones they did, the three and three quarter. The older ones were a little bigger though, in the five inch range. So we've got some vehicles there, I've got some loose ones. Got some vehicles. As you can see there, some on card. Also stored up the top there. One's on card. Because the cards were too big to actually fit in the cabinet. And we move down. Get the next lever is about a bit. We have the movie, the Brendan Fraser movie, The Mummy. Now these are quite awesome too. They they actually did these figures for the film, and they came with play sets. So you'd have the the chamber and and the, the, like an embalming room. And I actually had these 
these the place it's displayed, but I can't hear. I haven't stacked in with the ones that are on card. So they're great. Move down. Here we go. Now here's one of our favourites, if we can pan out. And that's the real Ghostbusters, which were done in the 80s. He also had came with the monsters. Now these monsters would transform. So transform into, into different little things. Go down. We'd have the Ghost Busters Firehouse. Which got two there, one showing from the front and one to the side. There's the Ecto one inside. And then for the second film they did another Ecto one that had like stickers that looked like goo splat all over them. Move along the top. I've got some A team. These were the later A teams uh, figures that came out for the film. Some Dukes of Hazard. Some original Mego from the eighties. The early A Team series. There you go again. So Van. Now these ones here are from the 70s. Now they were from a film called The Black Hole, which was a Disney film that was quite disturbing for the time. So you check that one out. Move down and we have Battlestar Galactica. These were made by Mego. And then we have some reaction figures for the Back to the Future film. And then we have the DeLorean with Doc and Marty there. Go down. We, we have... Oh, what was that called now? Gosh, my mind is going... <laughs> and we have I've got some Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and we've got the phone box I believe they're actually doing a third film which would be awesome and I've got some on the card there as well yeah, if we can step back a bit we have one of my favourites, and Matt's as well, and as Matt would have stated in the other film, uh, that we love our dinosaurs. And as you can see, we've got the, I've got the new ones up there, and Mattel has really pumped these things out. I was just talking to Matt before and said, you now some of these dinosaurs, do they actually exist? Well, they're just made up by Mattel. But Matt's pretty good on his dinosaurs. If you saying yes, they are. They're all, they're, they're all genuine dinosaurs. Now, here you have the transporter from the, the second film, The Lost World. Go in there. And I love this. This is a T Rex. But check out the face on that little man. Look how scared he is. Now what happens to him, he goes down, actually you can see the slit there in the belly, he goes down the dinosaur's mouth and then you can get him back out again. Go down here. Some other ones for the Lost World. The T-Rex and they got sort of like capture gear on it. A bit of a dissection lab there from the Lost World. They decided to dissect a dinosaur. Some other figures, so these are newer ones, so these are smaller ones from Mattel. Go 
Looking further down, we have the from the first film release of Jurassic Park, the dinosaurs and figures. Now some of these are series two. So you can see the early character there, the one to the right, series two, Malcolm series two. And there we go. Out. We have some vehicles, they did a helicopter, the Ranger, the Ford Territory, that got the actual uh, compound. We, we have down here the Triceratops, and oh, no, I love my Triceratopses. Oops. Go back, tell the. Did this big dinosaur here, beautiful Brachiosaurus, and I just love <laughs> these large scale ones. We have a large scale Velociraptor blue and T Rex. So, as you can see, Here we have Pirates of the Caribbean, Ultimate Black Pearl playset. As you move down for the second film, they redid the same playset but in a bit of a darker colour. We go down, we have Queen Anne's Revenge, it was the third film, some figures there. And then for the fourth film, now for the fourth film, they, they actually changed and went to this sort of smaller scale which again scale is very important Dead Men Tell No Tales film so I got the ships and some of the little boats but again out of scale move down well, I've got some the Jurassic Park vehicles some halo ones on the floor now move across we go and here's the uh, Masters of the Universe. Now, with the Masters of the Universe, I this is about as much as my collection goes. I got the Grey Skull and uh, the Skeletor's one, and uh, I've got Skeletor on his his um, panther there. Same with He Man. Now this fellow in the center here is is called Molar, and he, he was. He was in a skit with a robot chicken where he, he had to pull Skeletor's tooth out. <laughs> and we move down, we've got some under here, some some um, more He-Man, uh, some Fortnite shoved in there. Also some, was it, oh, I forget now what they, these ones are. My mind is going... <laughs> We move along. We move on. We're coming up to Ninja Turtle Corner. So here's my large scale Ninja Turtle. And as you can see, this is Ninja Turtle Corner. But before we get into Ninja Turtle Corner, turn around. And here's some of my more vintage stuff. So, we start up the top here, we have the Blue Thunder Helicopter. They brought out, lovely. That's a spaceship from a show called Blake 7. That was just a model. Move across from the, to go into the 80s here, then we have the Knight Rider car. Lovely. Comes the Knight Rider figure there. Move down to Matt and I's favourite show. It was a 70s show called Space 1999. They aired it at 10 o'clock on Channel 7. Most mornings. So if you were lucky enough to be home from school, school holidays or sick, you could catch this wonderful space show. And... When I started collecting early on, when eBay actually came about, I found out they did the large-scale Eagle, which was the spaceship in the show. 
Now this was made by Mattel. So as you see, it was a large scale. That's when I ran into a fellow at a video shop and told him all about it. And he was a Space 99 enthusiast and that person was Matt. So he bought one as well. And we it has to be one of our prized possessions in the in the collection. They did later on they did some larger scales dolls that were reminiscent of ones from the 70s. Some die cast ones. And there's we have I have the box there. We move along. They they brought when the Jaws film they brought out a Jaws game. Now he's actually in the box there but now uh, what you do with your jaws, you try to hook things out of his mouth and he snaps the actual jaw closed if, you, if you're not careful. Move along, one of my favourites, Evil Knievel. I got one of these when I was about seven or eight. And he's, he's in a stunt cycle and you wind him up and he runs along and jumps ramps. Well, obviously, as you can see down here, uh, reaction did a uh, Jaws. There's a little fellow, if you can see in there, he's unfortunately caught in his mouth. Moving down, now this was a toy line in the 70s called Big Jim, sort of the male version of Barbie. So, one of the earliest toys that I've got was this one here, um, and that was Big Jim's camper van. Moving across, oh, we also got some Eva Knievel, and he had a similar camper van because they're actually made by the same company. Small big gym down there. Now we come across before we get into Ninja Turtle Corner, and up here we've got the Waterworld. They said the film was a big flop, but as you can see, they did a toy line for that as well. Further down, coming down, we have Sequest. Now that was a 90s TV show, which wasn't bad, too bad. One of the first shows to use CGI for the special effects. Oh, coming down, got some Robocop. They were the new figures they did for the new film. And these were the other ones around about just after the, the movies. Moving down, we start to go into Ninja Turtle. Now, Ninja Turtles, these, mostly these are all the new ones. So, if I step back, as you can see, we've got some from the movie, Ninja Turtle movies. Let's step back again. From the cartoon show, Nickelodeon one. Going up, now these are the Ninja Turtles from the 90s. Going down, more 90s ones. Now these ones aren't Ninja Turtle, but it was very sort of a rip-off of Ninja Turtle, but these are biker mice from Mars. Now, I've nearly got a full set here. Biker uh, mice from Mars? Nearly. We go down again, we'll come back. Some more the Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles. Coming down, and this was from an a early 2000s Ninja Turtle film. And across here, this was called Ninja Turtles Paleo, which where they went back in time with the dinosaurs. Oh, I'll get a bit of Ben 10 here for fun. Just recently did a nice range there. Cannonball. His van. Move on up. 
we have some vintage. Now I've got a vintage Ninja Turtles van, these from the 80s, but I haven't got many figures. So I've got the, the turtles themselves, Krang, a foot soldier, Splinter, and, and Shredder. And that's, oh, and, a, and a frog dude. But that's about the extent of my 80s. Go back up. Now these are the newer Ninja Turtles that they've just done recently. And I've got the set there that they've recently released. Go back out. Um, that's just a like a city sewer where the turtles would would go down and hide. Now if you're a Doctor Fu fan, I have a large scale TARDIS that I built myself. So we move across from that. We can also do a video later on if anyone's interested in seeing the TARDIS. And we'll move on to what I call DC Corner. As you can see, there's quite a lot. So let's Let's have a closer look. Okay. Here we have the uh, Batman vs Superman Batcave playset. This was came out when the film came out. They caught. They've caught SpongeBob. It must have been naughty. Got the Batmobile there. Getting repaired. Batman's there. Go down. Another version of the Batmobile there. And it's got a big cannon on it. Some of the classic 80 ones there from the 80s film. Down, the tumbler and the bat. Tumbler there. Let's so have a cross. This is a series called the Justice League Unlimited. They're nice figures. The only problem is they don't stand up that well. Got the 12 inch versions there. As you can see, they did do Quite a lot of them. Oh, large scale Superman's blocking him there. There's some more down on the bottom shelf. Go across. This was the Batman animated series. Is there Batmobiles? More of the Batman. Because I've got Batman in every different type of suit that he needs. Get on that shelf. 
some more Justice League Unlimited there, as you see, because they don't can't stand up that well. I have to lie them down. There's more Superman, Batman, Bold and the Brave cartoon series. Of each scale, well, I think they might be a little bit bigger than that. And this was called the Super Powers Collection from the 80s. That's it, Justice League Hall. his Batman animated series and some of the Superman animated series. Batmobile in there. Bruce Wayne's Manor. These uh, the villains of the animated series. Further down, we just got some bat wings parked on the ground floor. This is Bat Cave from Batman. Re Batman Returns. Actually, sorry, that was Batman Forever. The Val Kilmer one. Alright, let's go up. I've got a, a small amount of marble. Because my daughter's a Spider-Man fan, so I mainly have Spider-Man. As you can see, the type of Spider-Man there. Some of the other Marvel characters animated series. Scale Spider Man to zoom out for him. Some animated ones South Park, Family Guy, Adventure Time there. Then we go down to The Simpsons. in there properly. Lovely. They did a lot of figures for the Simpsons. Oh, some Futurama in there actually visiting. There's Cletus pointing at them. Go down. All right. 
across. And we have Van Helsing that, that they panned as well, but I quite enjoyed. We've got the castle, the castle they did for it. Castle Dracula figures. I thought that was a good film with Hugh Jackman. Got some other left from Batman and the Ones. Robot Chicken, some Simpson there. Here we have the Indiana Jones. Obviously, as you can see, I can't fit them on the shelf or display them, so they're left in the packets. Go further down. Now, this is uh, the DC series Swamp Thing. So here's the loose figures. I have actually scroll across, got their vehicles and that, and play sets, but they can't be displayed, they haven't got their room for them. So go down, got some Muppets, Muppet Lab, different range of horror ones from different horror films, Freddy Krueger and Now, we will start to go into some Star Wars. Primal Age Batman still. Now here's my different Batmobiles and Bat vehicles from the different films. Swamp Thing, as we showed you. Aquaman down there. Some other Batmobiles. Batman. And that'll lead us into Star Wars. Now, I have quite a bit, most of my collection is Star Wars. So we'll stop it there and we'll go and start with the vintage collection first. Let's start on the other side of the room now where most of it is Star Wars. There's still a lot of other, other toys mixed in so we'll start over here anyway. So I've got some Clone Wars up here. Now I have about four different types of ADATs that they brought out over the years. I have a lot of carded Star Wars figures and I have a container with about 1500 loose ones. So so most of the cards are stored in separate containers, which I can show in another video. And here we have some of the newer Star Wars, Rogue One, Force Awakens, Last Jedi. And I was lucky to get one of these displays from a supermarket. Okay, let's get back a bit. Go down. Get some of the different ones. Some Lost in Space. She have some Wild Wild West there. And that has a came with a derailer tank. That's the film. Lost in Space from Lost in Space movie. Creep around. Start to get into the Star Wars. There was a chip reader from the Phantom Menace. 
that was the store display some more various carded Star Wars figures we'll go down to the vintage to the 70s Get some of the boxes there zoom in some of the original figures one of my latest things, Blue Snaggletooth. Land Speeder. Go down to the Empire Strikes Back. Oh, Boba Vett's fault taking a snooze there. Land speeder, Some droid factory, cantina there. Some Return of the Jedi. They're all vintage. Get down. Vehicles, some play sets. If I want around, we'll start down the bottom here. You can see there's some of the newer ones, the latest. Go up. And then the 12 inch collection that, that they brought out. They're all boxed, that's two rows deep. More 12 inch. Some new ones from the solo one. Some 12 inch large scale TIE Fighter. some Star Trek here to break it up a bit. Get one of the figures. These are the next generation. Some from the Star Trek movie. Set shuttle. Some from the classic Star Trek series. It's bridge crew. Some from the newer films. Continuing on, as you can see, they did bring out a lot, a lot of Star Wars figures. They must be, they must have brought out thousands. And some of the large scale figures. Scale Stormtroopers, a lot of vehicles,
Here we have our Blood Scar Millennium Falcon and one of the vintage ones. Comparison size there from the seventies to later into the two thousands there. Very well detailed compared to what the seventies one was. Still both lovely. Okay. Move up and around. Something a little bit different here. This is the film John Travolta and it was called Battlefield Earth. Not the film that was panned but I quite enjoyed. I seem to enjoy the films that other people don't enjoy. So where's John Travolta is in here somewhere. There he is. Let's zoom up. It's not a bad likeness. Slipping back in. Go down. We have some Beetlejuice from the Beetlejuice film. Oh, actually, I think it might have been from there. I think it was for the film. They did do a later. They did a cartoon. Going down, The Shadow, which was an Alec Baldwin film, which was quite good. And these are Kenner's Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. And they repurposed Star Wars Ewok Battle Ram. Took the skull off and put a catapult on. They're all the figures, but some of the vehicles can't fit on the shelf. Moving on, we have more Star Wars. These were earlier ones, Power of the Force. Going down. Some large scale figures. If thirtieth anniversary vehicles, some rebels, some other vehicles. up and around Falcon, got quite a few Millennium Falcons they've put out.
me across. A few odd one down there. Mostly Star Wars. Star Wars vehicles. It's just backing on. Out yeah, the corner there, you can see those Batmobiles. Oh, a Hawley vehicle bunged in there. It's more Millennium Falcons, one from a solo film. Some more carded figures. down some of the vintage collection from the 70s well that's from 1980 that's the Empire Strikes Back Millennium Falcon we got there B-Wing Rebel Transport in front Darth Vader Starship Destroyer uh, off play set. Got the Rancor in its box. It's from Return of the Jedi. That wasn't in the film, but Ewok Battle Ram. And an Ewok play set there. Leads us to Doctor Who. Now you might have seen one of our previous videos where Matt showed some of the Doctor Who. But if you missed it, here it is again. Some Cybermen there. Play sets. Going out, we have the doctors and their relative Tardises. And yes, I've got the female doctor in there. Some Doctor Who monsters. Some Davroses. Fellow who's on, he was the voice of the Daleks with the TV series. Some of the newer Daleks they did. Classic Daleks. 
Zoom out a bit, get them in. Matt Smith's TARDIS console. Sign that one, Peter Davison. It's a smaller series. Did smaller scale, three and three quarter, I think they were, and some of the early vintage, which was one of the earliest toys I've had. The Dapo Tardis. Star Wars. It was a big playset. The Boo Starfighter. Some more Star Wars. And that leads us back around. some of your large-scale Batmobiles. No worries, Batmat. I'll show them now. These are the, for the six-inch line. I got some dinky there that I had when I was young. Came with the chopper. Haven't got the boat though. It's got the trailer there. Get in, larger scale Batmobile from the Batman vs. or oh, is it actually the Justice League one? Superman there. And the larger scale Batmobile from the animated series in the 90s. Very different. Superman there. Lovely. So Batman, what did you think of the room tour? I thought it was awesome. I hoped everyone enjoyed it. And remember, keep on collecting. Thanks Batman. See you later. G'day, welcome back to Keep On Collecting. What I wanted to show today was the figures and the toys I couldn't fit in the room tour. So as you can see, there's quite a few tubs here. So. Most of them are all the carded Star Wars figures. There's just heaps of them, they endless amount of Star Wars figures. So, there's just heaps of them. And these are things that take up the room. Unless they're, they're taken out of the card and displayed, you end up with just yeah. crates and crates of these Star Wars figures. So. These all will have to go back into the toy room so we can clear out the front lounge room. So anyway, I just wanted to show you 
what, what the extent of I've got and that I couldn't fit in just to do that, that filming. Anyway, keep on collecting.